Craig thought he was in a hidden camera show. But he wasn't. Craig thought I don't want to shower yet, but I did wash my face. Craig thought he was in a hidden camera show, but he wasn't. He wasn't. He said to his pals, um, just every now and again, you know, something funny would happen. Like, he was in his office. I've got wee bits in my eyes, you know, like wee... Listen, Craig... So here's the improv story. Craig thought he was in a hidden camera show, but he wasn't. Daniel! Daniel! Daniel, I'm not all right. Good. <laughs> how, how are you? It reminded, it reminded me of that time my pal was kind of borderline freaking out with an, a too powerful ecky at Homelands, this dance festival, and it asked, and turn, I saw him turn to ask this colleague of mine, you're right. Is that all? Aye, aye. Are you? I'm a bit scared. Um, it just reminded me of that. Like asking, he's asking him if he's all right because he's no all right. That's fucking irritating me. What is that? Right, listen, Craig thought he was in a hidden camera show, but he wasn't. The reason why he thought he was in a hidden camera show was all these strange wee things kept happening. And he was like, right, this has got to be a wind-up. This has got to be a wind-up. For example, he was in his office, and there, there was this uh, woman that he worked with, Mary, and she did something mental one day and he was like, right, this has got to be a wind up. She made herself a cup of coffee, right? And she was bringing it back for the kitchen. And she went to put it down on our desk. But as she went to put it down, by sort of banging it against the, the desk a wee bit, a bit it spilled out. And she went like that, oh, for God's sake. And then she had to get up and get a paper towel and all that sort of shit. And he was like... He, he, he didn't actually think that much at the time, actually. But he was just like, ah, oh, oh, it's... Right? And then... That was that. And he was thinking about it for days. It was, it was hilarious. But two or three days later... Um, there was another colleague of his called John and he wasn't in yet it was like half nine everybody used to be in it between nine half nine half nine at the latest and John didn't come in um, till about ten minutes later about twenty to ten and he came in and he sat down and he didn't say it you know he didn't say oh sorry sorry I'm late he just sort of came in like that um, and and Craig was like, you know, the apology or anything like that, and they kind of saw him like, sort of just like, he, he started getting a wee feeling, I wasn't sure, but what really made him like suspect something was it was when the fucking monitor fell back. John, same guy as before, was adjusting his monitor 
on his computer. He was like trying to move it back a wee bit. He was kind of rubbing his eyes a wee bit, trying to move his monitor back a wee bit. And he was like, he had to talk to someone about, just change the resolution in this. How do you, you change the thing? All right, I'm just trying to, see, I went a wee bit further back because for my eyes, for the eye strain. But then it's obviously too wee. Or you need to, I don't need, I don't need glasses. With that part of that funny part, Craig thought, this is like something you'd see in a hidden camera. This is like something in Jeremy Beadle. This is, this is funny. This is hilarious. And his colleague John said to somebody, another employee, I want to put it back, but is there, is there any way to put it back but make the everything bigger? Well, you could decrease the resolution, but you know, like take it for, what have you got it at? I think it's 1440. You could put it for 1440, 1080. Oh, I don't want that. What's the point in getting a 1440 monitor? You've got to put it 10 Well, it'll make everything bigger, but you can put the screen further away from your eyes. And Craig was watching all this. And and his colleague said, well, that's really your only other solution. I mean, other, I mean, just but either put it further back, decrease the resolution, keep it close, or, you know, ah, right. And that, that employee went away. And Craig watched John move this monitor further and further back. Like, rubbing his eyes all the time, putting it back. And he put it that far back, then the monitor just started to fall air. Like, uh, uh, you know, fall off the fucking desk. And John went to grab it. And it dropped. Right, he's like, oh God's sake. And he's like, oh my God. And Craig went like that, right, fuck this. What's this? I'm sorry, I can't go along with it. I know I'm supposed to go along with it, but right, what's this? I'm sorry, I know this have probably spent a long time in, in Dennis, but I, I want to be able to hold it in. I want to be able to pretend. Hey, what's this? And John was just kind of like looking there, like, what's Craig talking about? Hey, where's my fucking monologue? I've not broke it. And Craig went, right, hey, what's this? What's this? And John went, what are you on about? Gonna, gonna, listen, Craig, gonna get the cave, gonna, gonna you go to the, Computer, they're gonna check the computer there. Is that cable? Is that fucked the, the the port up? And Craig was like, ah. he thought, right, I'll go along with it. Uh, what is it you want me to do? Check the port. Um, oh, aye, the port, the cables yanked the port. It's all it's all broke. What's going on here? Like that. And John went, all right, calm down. It's it's fine. Just gonna unplug it then. How much is it fucked to put? Are you sure? And Craig went, Shut up, you, you, you fucking arsehole. I'm sick of you talking to me like that. And grabbed him, you know, like that. Hey, you, what you fucking den? John was like, What are you den? Craig was like, that. Craig was a big guy, by the way. Seven foot. Big guy. I made that happen with my mind. Now that's to let, see that's telekinesis. You hear that? Seven foot, I was ready to say to Daniel, can you shut the door please and it just shut. Craig went like that, right? What's going on? And he went up dead close to, to John like that. What's going on? Dead close to him like that. What's going on? Humming breath, by the way. Craig hardly ever brushed his teeth. Had he brushed his teeth for about three months now? He's gone through a bit, a bit of a hard time. And he went like, what's going on? What's going on then? And John went like, what, 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 what? And then Craig went, oh, geez, a wee second. It's all right, cool. Watch this. Craig went to the kitchen and came back and went, Grabbed John, pulled out a kitchen knife, like a bread knife, you know, serrated, and went like that, right to his throat, went like that. I 
I'm telling you, this computer, this monitor breaking, it's making me think of some really bad things right now. Oh. And John was terrified. John didn't move and Craig went, why are they not stopping me? Is this, is this like a prop? Is this part of the, the thing, I? And John was like, ah, Craig, listen, just stop me, right? Just stop. Right? No, you're going through a hard time with Sally and all the rest of it. And John went like that. This is nothing a day we don't bring her into this. This is nothing to do with nothing. That's nothing to do with nothing. And Mary went like that. Craig just put down the knife and Craig went like that. Mary, just leave, right? Just, you go out, right? Same with the rest of you. Everybody out. And I was a guy, uh, Peter, who went like that. I'm not leaving. Craig, we're not leaving until you put the knife down. Mary was away. And Craig went like that. I just want to know what's going on. And then Peter went like that. Craig, and then Craig went like, you know what? And he went like that. Just that. Cut a bit that deep in. But that much. See that, just that, see that windpipe, see that there? See that there? See that? How deep's that? About that deep. Just like that, bang. And John was asked, <coughs> Then Craig started chasing after Peter. Peter ran for the door. Peter ran for the door. Uh, Craig uh, rugby tackled him and he shoved that knife where the sun don't shine that's all I'm going to say I don't want to be against TOS he shoved that knife where the sun don't shine <laughs> um, and uh, pretty bad but honestly see see that see that uh, Peter bad guy though Peter bad guy Pretty bad guy. And then... Craig just sort of sat there for a while. Peter was there bleeding. And Craig just sort of sat there for a while. And then you could hear this thumping outside the door. It was people running up the stairs. Because there were three flares up. And in came like the camera crew. With the lights and all the rest of it. Is that fucking, uh, it's Beetle. And Craig went like that. It's Beetle. It's Beetle. It was Beetle. And Craig went like that. I thought... Well, first of all, Craig went like that. I knew... Oh, I knew it. Oh, you... You... Beep! You have to beep, beep! Ha, 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 ha! You beep, beep! Beep, beep! Ha! Audience all laughing. Beep! Like, later on when it was broadcast. Beep! You beep and beep and beep, 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 and beep, beep, beep! Everybody, you know, kind of covers their mouth and all that. And then Craig went like, wait a minute. I thought you died. I thought you were dead, Jeremy. Beetle. I thought you were dead. And Beetle went like, got you again. And this is Jeremy Beetle's big comeback. That was part of his, his, part of his no deed. It's part of his whole thing. It's part of his whole thing. So this is, this is Beetle's return. 
I swear he's told us before. I might have, I, I maybe have. He, no, he didn't. The end. Now listen. That is a true story because Beetle will be back on your screens exclusively on ITV. In September. I've ruined that one though. I've ruined that one. But honestly, but the, the, on, you, you'll see the trailers for it so much that it already ruined it. Gonna, they're going to put that on YouTube anyway to promote the rest of the series. So I'm not really ruining it. Worst one yet. Don't blame me. It's, just, it's just not an improv. How do you know this? I was involved with the, in the production. I'm actually producing it. You know how I said I wasn't going to do any tele stuff? I meant in front of the screen. I'm just, I'm a producer now. You know how... You know how, like, uh, is it was it Andy Phillips, children's presenter? Oh, he's actually a very successful uh, uh, producer now. Oh, sorry, I need to catch up. Um, 